This triumphal entry into Jerusalem is a great day. It's a day that we should be rejoicing and we should be praising, we should be honoring. This room should be so loud that it drowns the worship team out. But we should still be praying that God comes in and turns over the tables in our hearts, that he comes in and that he fashions that whip and he drives these things out. Because my heart is wicked and sinful. I had shared that passage from John where he makes the I am statement and knocks over everyone in attendance. And he asks the question, whom do you seek? And that's the same question that I close with today. Whom do we seek? Do you know him personally? Not do you know a lot about God, but do you know him personally? Is he Lord of your life? We, we should be rejoicing today. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. I don't care what you've done. The door is open for all to come. He died for all the sins of the world. And he rose again three days later and ascended at the right hand of the Father and is interceding for each and every one of you daily. God loves you, man, so much. So much. Don't walk out the door today the same way that you came in the door. If you're carrying burdens and struggles, leave it at the cross. If you're leading a life full of sin and, and compromise, leave it at the cross. If you don't know Christ here today, come to the cross. Come to the Father. There will be people up here to pray with you. Amen.